What about your art and poems? I've just been wasting my time. As mayor, it's my duty to help the town, and this development is exactly what it needs. This is a beautiful poem to Morgan. And a fat lot of good that ever did. She never read any of them. This handwriting. Can I have this poem? Take them all if you want. Uh, just the one will do. Juan, please stop this development. I was wrong. This island doesn't need such things. No. I must impress Morgane. I'll do anything to win her heart. Is that so? Huh? Yes. I love her. You may have us all living in fear, but you cannot change our feelings. You will find that you're very wrong on that point. You! Out! The mayor and I have a great deal of business to discuss. Things have become a little lax, and the islanders need to be reminded who's in charge. You can't! Not only will I rule with an iron fist, I'll make sure that everyone knows you were the cause of my new changes. Diablo, throw her out! Oh my god! What on earth have I done? One eye is pretty mad at me. But that shouldn't mean he takes it out on the islanders. The more I get to know the people here, the more I'm convinced that One Eye, Morgan, and Juan are mixed up in something very suspicious. Figuring it out won't be easy, but I've got to do it. There's another notice here. One Eye says that he's increasing the taxes the Islanders pay to him. I hope they never find out that I'm to blame. Oh wait, he's written more at the bottom. You have Sonny's interfering ways to thank for this. I'll take this note with me. I must work out how to deal with One Eye before the Islanders find out about the tax increase. around here is so untidy. Luckily for me. Manual labor. It's not the kind of thing I was destined for. I can't think of any use for this. But you never know. Fireflies are so pretty. I wish I had some of my own. I can't think of any use for this, but you never know.
Fireflies are shining in the dark. Still awake on the Winsome Maid. Hi, Amadeo. What are you doing? Hello, Sunny. I'm standing guard. Can I see Morgan? No, I told you I'm standing guard. It's pretty important. The captain specifically said not to let anyone near her cabin. Morgan's hiding something for sure. I must speak with her. But how am I gonna get... Oh my god! The eyes! Well, they glowed when I went near to it. Or not. The skull now has firefly eyes. Odd. Morgan's not here. So what was Amadeo guarding? Perhaps the cabin itself? Or something it contains? The portrait and the note are still here. But even so, I don't understand why Juan would have written such a note to Morgan. Unless... This handwriting is terrible. Agree to my wishes, or you'll live to regret it forever. A threatening note. How intriguing. But who could have sent it? Poetry is so romantic. Just as I thought. The handwriting is completely different. So Juan didn't write that threatening note after all. Who could it have been? 
Could it be Senor Guzman? Hmm, probably not. It's usually doctors that have bad handwriting, not bank managers. Maybe one of the crew. No, they're far too loyal for their own good. What about Vasco? Or one of the other town people? Oh, let's face it. I'm grasping at straws here. Now, Chevier's a possibility. He was Juan's guardian for a while, after all. Perhaps he bears a grudge. I'll keep him on my list of possibles.